Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Goblin Stone. I, when I was thinking about what I wanted to play today, I, I couldn't get one game of recent out of my head. I, like, I kept thinking, like, I could play this, I could play this, I could play this, and then I was like, but Goblin Stone, though, uh, it, it is absolutely phenomenal. The issue being it is only a demo. However, I reached out and I was like, you know what? How much is left of the demo? And I was informed there's enough to make one more video out of. So you know what? We're going to make one more video out of the demo for Goblin Stone because I just, I, I like it that much. I'm, I am that excited for it that I'm willing to double dip episodes on a demo <laughs> for, from a let's try. If that is not a glowing endorsement, I don't know what is. If you missed that video, one, I will link it down in the description. You'll want to watch that first. Treat treat this like a two uh, two part series. Uh, effectively, but Goblin Stone, if you want to just jump in right here, I can explain it as well. It is a very cozy, warm, stylish, uh, darkest dungeon-esque roguelike with, you know, like the party management. There's like gentle Slay the, si like slay the Spire elements uh, gently. I would not call it a deck builder, though, if that is like the kind of thing that turns you away. I there, There's not enough of it to turn you away from this game. Let me make that clear. Uh, but just like the visuals, the music, the everything about this game, I just I'm so excited to check it out. Uh, and another thing of importance to note is while it was not out last time, the demo, the demo is out now. It's not sponsor or anything. I just I really want this game to succeed. So if you want to play the demo for this game, there is now actually a link in the description to play the game for yourself. Uh, so alas, let's uh, let's see if we can figure out exactly where we were precisely a week ago. This here is our uh, our little base. A lot of the features in it are not going to be quite done yet. Let's see, we have our barracks. We got our full ro- oh, we can click our full roster button. I feel like I don't remember seeing this even last time. There was a couple updates to the demo even uh, since I, I last played. So yeah, we have guards, shamans, peons, raiders. I feel like we're just gonna, let's just head out to our first uh, expedition again. In the war room? Yeah, so we have L Lamp Supper Much Mamer. This is my boy right here, that is my boy. I've been looking to come back to good old Peep Teller. We'll hit, we'll hit the map here. Uh, apparently there should be an extra, an extra boss still left. Like there's a final boss to the demo that we did not get to check out. Uh, okay. So it looks like we can go anywhere, but we have a quest here. Uh, let's actually, let's pop back. If, if I remember, remember correctly, we had some kind of like a, a little quest log thing to look at. Back on out. Yeah, right up here. Okay, so. Horror in the woods. And then there is also scout furrows rest. Explore all of furrows rest. Or locate and slay the shadow white. Uh, let's do that second. Let's do that second. God, this just this uh this dang battle chart here. So to Furrow's Rest first we shall go. Uh does it say eliminate all enemies? Eliminate all enemies. Okay, so that other one is our like it's our major goal. It's our big old goal. Here you can manage your party. You can see each goblin's stats, abilities, equipment, and you can also reorder their combat positions. I feel like I had a, a very clear idea about what I wanted last time, so I'll I'll just trust my past self. As we move on in here. Goblins never level up. They improve through their equipment and genes. That's right. Yeah, there's going to be uh, the ability to... Oh, you have you have new genes? <laughs> Melodramatic. When you die, fully heal all allies. When you suffer a mortal wound, gain plus 20% power until the end of combat. Resist increased by 25%, but your magic attacks... Deal 50% less damage. You seem like you really should not be a mage. <laughs> Increase, okay, but also a strong back. Increase the inventory size contribution by two. That's pretty cool. I can't wait until we can get into the uh, the lineage systems in the future. Uh, I want to make it clear right now. Uh, we are absolutely going to be covering this game when it comes out as well. Here we go, we're gonna harvest a little bit of goodies. I don't know if there's anything to do with them yet, but we will make sure we get them. Also, like, look at them go. Look at them go, take all. That's actually gonna be a better idea. Can we get the mushrooms? Nope. All right, but yeah, uh, 
like I, I certainly there was just so much that was so charming about this even if this video do doesn't do well like a, a second double dip back I just I had to I had to is the music not I want the music to be louder oh all right I guess I just have it set real quiet here let's uh let's I want to hear it better so what we'll do is we will turn up the master and then we will turn down that all right Whoa. Okay. We got to Oh, we got to battle with some floating skulls. We didn't we did not see these even last time. Okay. So, yeah, the combat system, a quick reminder, it's on a timeline-based system where all of these characters are slowly moving inwards. All of them are slowly moving inwards at the same time. Veildowser is currently going, then he will go next cuz he's closest to the middle, then he will go next cuz he's next closest to the middle. And that is just how it works. And all of our attacks, they do not cost mana, they just cost distance from the center basically so this does 20 damage and a chance to bleed so i feel like why would we not just kill the skull oh my god first one is failed, first one is failed. i feel like we're uh i feel like we're busted for this zone. <laughs> okay all right well we've, we we <laughs> we didn't fight those last time but we hardly fought them now too they're uh they're far too weak for my tough tough abilities uh hold on can use to be heal to heal goblins converts to two food okay we could what is this uh okay so i i do remember converts to 300 gold after the adventure well hell yeah there we go i remember there was the shop so i guess picking up the materials if they even if they can't be used to oh hello are you you're friendly aren't you are you you're not no <laughs> even if we can't use them to make anything we can definitely sell them all right, here we go. And again, I'll, I'll turn down the little sound effects. I just wanted to, hear, wanted to turn up the music. Okay, so slash 20 damage and a 20% chance to inflict bleed or five damage and a guaranteed bleed. So does Slawhoofer have, what is your abilities? So you have blood rupture. If they're bleeding, remove the bleed and deal 18 damage plus 200% of the undealt bleed damage. So he's going next, and we can first blood anybody. So if he's going second, that means we'll do this. Because after everybody does their attack, they will shuffle back. One of your goblins is tired. This happens after using an expensive ability. Tired goblins take more damage. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you. Desperate shank. Okay, so he's moving to the back. That was... All right, there we go. Blood rupture. This should be a KO, right? 18 damage and then 200% of the undealt bleed damage. 41! Jeez, dude. It's crazy. Okay. Retaliate for the next 150 time units. Attacks made against you will return 50% of the damage and stun the attacker. Uh, I don't feel like there's going to be a point since this is not going to be... Theoretically, not going to be that long of a fight. I feel like we should just go with the itty-bitty abilities. Stone throw. Throw a stone and inflict the stun. We could do it to this. I, I believe it keeps them in this spot. Which is not bad. I mean, this does... Yeah, this only does five damage. All right, Pete Teller, you're my stun bot. Because, quite frankly, he's not too good otherwise. Lucky swing. Ooh. Much maimer. Uh, okay. Shock the enemy, dealing five damage and inflicting knockback. That does actually straight up push them back in the line there. Attack with your trinket to do five damage. You know what would actually be kind of nice? Moving, uh, giving an ally uncanny speed, causing him to move twice as fast along the time bore. It would actually be kind of nice to give that to somebody like Crud Silver, buff him up, and then, and then give him that. Are we dabbing? Uh, let's get a little bit of a, a little bit of knockback, sure. Does just as much damage as our other ability. It's very expensive, though, so we are tired, of course. Uh, Soul Shock. Lamp Supper. Are you the one who has... Are you the one who has the terrible genes? Yeah, your magical attacks deal 50% less. Uh, we have Life Shock, though. Stun a target and heal it for 8 if it's undead. Damage instead. Healing Chance. Heal damage allies for 6. I mean, I guess this is fine do four damage it's, it's not like we're even doing particularly that much less this moves us back not nearly as much 
Do we want Much Maimer to be... Fine, let's just use the big heal ability. There you go, Much Maimer and Slahoofer. He is exhausted, but then he gets moved to Tired. Intercept the next two attacks of this target enemy. Uh, next 150 time units. So the way that these work that like I didn't fully grasp last time is that we have like, we have our, this is why it's Slay the Spire-esque. We do have our deck of abilities and we might not draw the ability that we want. Uh, we always will get this ability. This one right here, we will always get. The other two are drawn from this pool right here. I don't know if there's maybe a way to remove some. I'm sure there's ways to change them, everything like that in the future. But for now, yeah, that is that is why that's that way. Uh, again, I don't know that there's going to be enough combat left for anything but uh, a basic attack to matter here. Veil Dowser, we cannot blood rupture because this guy has taken damage, but that's okay because we gave him the big old meat club, so he's doing wild damage. Oh, Peep Teller! Oh, Peep Teller. I'm sorry. Yeah, Peep Teller just has stone throw. He's got no abilities here. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so we took the two damage from the bleed there. Get out of here. Bye bye. So long. All right, much member. You should be able to do enough damage. Get out of here. I do love that we have like just exact damages. Thank goodness. I'm gonna pick these up before we go to the shop. 250 G. All right, all right, all right. Take that. Uh, okay. Sells for 200. I wonder, can we sell that stuff here? Tiny blue gem. <laughs> that face. Uh, okay, so these are all crude. They're not very like high quality. But do we have any like? Are any of our? Oops, hold on. Any of our goblins not really have like great equipment? Uh, like okay, Peep Teller does not have good equipment, but he can't wear anything else. It's based off of the class. Crud silver has the crude wooden stool. I mean, yeah, these are all crude. It's all crude. I don't know why we, uh, I guess, would really go for anything there. Oh, look at it! Look at him! Look at it! <laughs> look at him! Look at us! Okay. Well, we can sell some stuff here. Uh, worth a fair amount of gold. Sure. We'll do that. Uh, and then, I, yeah, I just don't really care about any of this stuff. Maybe, like, the, what I would care about would maybe be the, uh, the healing. Gain a blessing, sure. Action cost 100%. That seems bad. That seems bad. We'll find it. We'll find out. That might mean that it's, like, cut in half, uh, or, or maybe it's even free. If I, if I'm misunderstanding, maybe it means, like, Temporary free abilities? That'd be... That wouldn't make any sense, though. It seems like we got cursed almost, though. Alright, we'll take the gold. Move on. Okay. Jump. We do need to clear... Oh, there's a zombie. So we have the ability to stun that guy. Isn't the quest that we need to fully clear this zone? Explore all. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> noise all right uh good enough good enough good enough let's fight a zombie Ugh. Look how big their lower jaws move oh 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 so it, okay good 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 slash him I mean slaw hoofer can just straight up kill I feel like that's, you know, just reducing the amount of uh, attacks that we are going to take in half. Oh my god, we are like, we're ruining them. If we, if we do this, I don't know that there's a point. Like, again, like, in a boss fight, I can see that being super, super useful. Stun. Stun the back line. We cannot stun the front line. Uh... Okay, so we did not get the thing. Uh, heal damage ally for six and tired 
Exhausted allies for nine. Uh, let's make you move very quickly. Man with the meat. It'll help him, uh, you know, get a get ahead just a little bit. If it is undead, deal damage instead. Ooh. Okay, so here we go. We finally get to try it out. Four damage. Okay, so because Lamp Supper is the one who doesn't do great damage. Isn't that right? Uh, if the enemy is stunned, release a flurry of attacks, dealing a total of 52 damage plus knockback. Why does it not, um, like, fully show the, uh, the... Uh, again, I'm, I'm moving this down a little bit. I want the music up. I want the music up. I like the sound effects, too, but, boy, I just want them to be a little bit quieter there. Good stuff. But, yeah, it did not fully intercept the next two attacks. We could... Oh, okay. Apparently, right-clicking them with an ability is the same as uh, as left-clicking. This is not going to be good. Oh, Peep Teller. You're, you, Peep Teller's literally just here because I like him. No, no other reason. Okay, so these buffs, did they go away? Are they done-done now? So we can take everything just by pressing, like, mashing space here. Got a bunch of gems. Okay. We can walk up here. Oh, look at the leader. Look at you. But yeah, I we wreck zombies, apparently. Ooh. Adventure stuff, 100 gold. Uh, crude jawbone axe. I don't think we need that. That's for the raiders. Oh. Our raiders are already fully equipped as is. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's pop on back down here. There we go. All right. Give me more zombies. I can fight zombies all freaking day. All freaking day. Oh, is this... Are we entering a town? Did we do it? I think we did. I mean, we, we left, but did we actually explore all? I guess we must have. Nice. Okay. Good deal. Whoop. Good deal. Those are ugly, grotesque creatures. Evil and malicious. No! Have you seen them? They are so cute. Like, this is the first uh, first game to make goblins genuinely very cute. Rage Baller. I mean, we don't. We really don't need another peon. But his name is Rage Baller, so I'm going to bring him in. Wonk Lubber. Another peon. Do they have to be peons? Hold on. I forget. Can we, like... I, I didn't think we had an ability to, like, turn them into another clan. Or another class, I don't think. Uh, that might be something that... If I were to guess, that might be something we could do later. War room. Is there a peon room? Quarters? That's where we would theoretically be able to increase our max population. There's the larder. Ancestors Hall. No goblins. We have no dead goblins, so we have no ancestors. We can, uh, theoretically, we could probably... I mean, this stuff is probably uh, not in the demo, but theoretically, I think that we, uh, we gain our ancestry stones by goblins passing. By them doing a, doing a die. Wait, some summon? So theoretically, we'll be able to like bring bring them. Not, I don't know if we'll bring them back from the dead, but we'll be able to like, I guess, just uh, commune with them. Change class. Oh, pond lopper. Requires five. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, that does it. So anybody can change class as long as they have certain stats. Much woofer. Okay, well, let's check our full roster here. Where is Rage Baller? Rage Baller sure as hell sounds like... You can only be a shaman? What do you need to be a guard? Five points in body. Where's five points in body? I don't... There's no body. What are you talking about? The hell are you talking about? So you are a raider. 
So you could become... Okay. Yeah, I, I just don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what body even is, but it looks like we can turn our peons at the very least across the board into uh, into shamans, which I think would be certainly it costs 50. What is that? Where do we get to see that currency? That's not that's not gold, is it? That ain't gold. No, it's certainly not gold. Uh, we could get this. Again, we don't really need, uh, upgrades to raiders. Oops, to raiders right now. In fact, we can, uh, we can ditch all those. No use to goblins. I love it when games just straight up tell you, like, this is something you don't need. <laughs> you don't have to worry about this. This thing. Okay. Snubby, snubby yeller. I'm not, I'm not big on snubby yeller. Age. Who's our oldest? Peep teller. No. Oh, well, I mean, I guess all of these. Wong Clubber is uh, is is very young. Let's. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll see if we can upgrade uh, Rage Baller here. We'll see if we have. I, I saw we got some of this currency. Rage Baller. We've done it. We got some of that currency from our quest, but I'm not sure where it's uh, where it's showing up. I must be missing it. Okay, horror in the woods. Horrible blight lurks in the old woods, bringing terror in its wake. Seek it out and destroy it. Okay, this certainly sounds as though it is the boss area. Oh, 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 I think I picked it. Wait, hold on. Go back, go back, go back. Eliminate two ragged adventurer, locate and slay the shadow white. All right. Uh, let's give it a go, right? We would get the Orcish Artifact. A large green gem. So wait, what is the large green gem, green gem used for? I'm not sure. Enemies, giant redback, all of them bad boys. Oh, there's spiders. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I feel like I got to bring Peep Teller. I feel like, and I feel like he has to stay as a, um, as a good old weakling. I feel like it's just the rules. Uh, I, you know, I'm happy with my team for now. They've been they've been serving me right. They've been serving me well. I wonder what peril awaits in the dark. I wonder what peril awaits in the dark. Oh, I lo I love watching them uh, them fall over too. There. It said there was. All right. Oh, we just straight up fight the boss like right here, right now. Oh, no. It said there was all kinds of other enemies, but I guess that's just typically in this zone there's all those enemies. Well, okay, all right. The Shadow White has 100 HP here. Shoot, we didn't get any... We didn't get uh, a good ability there. I feel like, you know what, let's just... Let's go all in on him, right? We do 20. I mean, we, we wreck. Boy, I wish we could have... Uh, given him the bleed. Drain life source. Your life is linked to the Shadow White. One life is drained from you every 10 time units. Damage done to you will also damage the White. The White Shroot. Uh, no thank you. Alright, so we are now in a spot where I think that Crud Silver is... Oh, a little more logical. So theoretically that damaged him too? Alright, we'll put on Retaliate. But yeah, it's so it's so weird how that yeah that does push him all the way to the back. What does Moan do? Oh, more damage. Okay, well, step one, stun him. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. So healing chance, soul shock. We can knock back. I was hoping to get the ability to speed up, crud silver, sliver. I God, it's been a week and I still did it. Um. Uh, I feel like this is fine. We don't need to go for any of that. Uh, let's just do a knockback. No no reason not to. It just helps keep us from uh, taking a little bit more damage. Same story. If we're not going to get the uh, the movement speed upgrade, we're going to go with that. Because these guys are our real... Uh, they're the real heroes. Oh, he, so he just moved right there, huh? Okay. 
Yeah, we don't have a really good, clean way of inflicting bleed, which is what I really would have liked. Clumsy smash. Clumsy smash. I feel like we've... Uh, oh, he summons a zombie. Okay, okay. I feel like we've gotten uh, really, really strong. God, I really wish we could have... Things are just not lining up in a way where we get to uh, we get to apply our tactics. Again, stun him, peep teller. Honestly, you're you're the real MVP. We're all taking that damage there. Oh come on! No oh, no! Ah, it's not what I want to do, but we're not getting uh, we're not getting our options that we really really want. Slaw Hoofers actually really in peril. Uh, I actually would not mind the idea of going for a very very expensive ability so that he gets moved to the back and gets tired because if that happens it makes it so the heal that he receives is going to be greater all right i'm gonna intercept his next attacks since we have the ability to uh, retaliate and stun oh we got life shock now though all right, we're going for it. Against my better judgment, he's gonna get unstunned, and then he's gonna come back, and he's gonna he's gonna give him with the old stun. Execution. I mean, I we certainly can, but there's also no point to. It's just gonna move us back further. And Veildowser is one of our big, big damage dealers. So I feel like it's not gonna be that logical. But I feel super, I feel super busted. Oh wait, Peep Teller. He's the man. Yeah, I feel like we're maybe going to be able to... Uh... Oh, my God. And the fact we have this move, too. These poor guys aren't going to get to play. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, we do crazy bonus damage to stun enemies. We're busted. We became broken. Stun a damaged enemy. Yes, please. Because maybe we'll even get to Veil Dowser, and then we can even... Refresh the ev like the ever so gentle stun that that guy had blood rupture and Goodbye God Yeah, we got all of our uh, our massive abilities right at the end there. Holy moly That was the boss That was the boss we feel broken Easy I mean I assume that was I can only assume that that was the the boss. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a mini boss. We made him look like a mini boss for sure. I saw there was another mission we do have that we can do though. Direct. Good. All right. All right. All right. Ah, we've done it. Ah, shoot. Please join our community on Steam for more information, discussion on the game, for more complete experience to wait to the early access version. I guess I just, uh, I guess I just wrecked the game too quickly. Uh, we've, we've done it. We beat the demo. However, I do uh, remember seeing that there was another mission we can do. So I'm... Bone Loader? Fine. I will recruit Bone Loader. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Uh, Grub Robber. Okay, all of these names are too good. Oh, Grub Robber's a guard. Either of you raiders? Okay. Plum Dimmer is a raider. I don't know what your body stat is. Your body attribute is increased by one. You know what? Fine. I'll see, because I want to see if we can, uh, we can change you. Uh, is it, was it Bone Loader? No. Uh, who's the one that got, oh god, no, I, I meant to sort by age here. Plum Dimmer, Vine Booger, Vine Booger, what, what? can you turn into a, no, so you have plus one to body. I'm clearly missing out on where the body stat is. Oh, it's probably over here, right? I see. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Gotcha. I was I was looking in the combat stats. Uh, also influ influences the amount of armor. 
amount of resist effectiveness of healing spells all right so yeah they clearly all have their own like uh, things that will make them better at these certain things i really don't know if i want to uh i, I feel like i want peep teller to stay his uh his humble little self you know Vet okay, well, veteran goblins can't change class anyways. So is a veteran goblin one that's like... Uh... Like that certain... Certain level. I know it said they don't level up, but you know what I'm saying. Like... Yeah. Ah, gems can be collected when it retires. This feature is still in development. I see. Okay, okay. So in the future, we'll... Like, since he's a veteran, we can retire him. We'll collect the gem that we can then use to uh, upgrade our base further that's really that's a really neat way of doing it so like it incentivizes making you want to uh like say goodbye to your boys per se uh nothing here is highly level let's go out let's do our one final uh, our one final objective that i saw there if we can if we can Am I mistaken? Eliminate two skull. Oh, okay. Eliminate all enemies. This was medium forest. Medium forest. Okay, so we we have indeed been to uh, been to and have done all of the things here. Uh, let's head back to. Oops. Let's head back to the furrows rest for one one moment here. We'll go one more time, regardless. Once more with feeling. See if there's anything uh, anything different here this time. Because, yeah, it seemed like it had a different set of potential units and enemies. Uh, one thing that I'm, I'd am i be super excited to see uh, coming up in the future, and I can only imagine that this is obviously what is going to come to the game, and that would be, like, super varied environments. Uh, because the style... Oh, I don't remember this bridge. I don't remember this bridge at all. Uh, varied environments in this style, just because this, this art style and everything is it's freaking eye candy. Okay, it's freaking eye candy, and I want to look at it and see it as much as possible in different kinds of variations. Oh, there's the skulls. These guys are pushovers, though. We we do way too much damage for them to be a problem. I feel like we... <laughs> Balance-wise, I feel like we became too busted too quickly. Like, as soon as we got the, uh, the, the crude ham hammer, it's just like... It makes it so we just absolutely explode anybody. We are far too strong. But yeah, any uh, I want to make it clear again. At, at, at any point where uh, more is added to the game, like ooh, like a good, good amount is added to the game, I I will want to come back. I I would love to like I am eagerly awaiting a deserving victory. the ability to make an entire series on this game. I want to make that clear. <laughs> clear. <laughs> so when it says we need to kill two skulls, I wonder if it means two skull two skulls in fights or two skull encounters. Boop. Oh, they do knockback. Okay, so I, I see how they can be annoying. It seems like they would maybe be more annoying in a, an event the where they're no uh, scattered amongst other enemies. You know what? Sure. I'll intercept that because I don't want Veildazer to uh, to get pushed back or, or even Peep Teller. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these abilities that we have... Uh, would be more effective if we weren't so strong. Much maimer. This has got to be an undead unit, right? So yeah, we only did five. You would do more, right? Because you're not... No? I thought that that one would do more because I thought he would be... <laughs> He's got three HP. Okay. All right. I think it was like, what? It's supposed to be 43 damage, but it's to throw out multiple attacks and everything like that. Get out of here. Get out of here. The threat has passed. The goblins breathe easy. All right. So either way, we will have completed our quest now. Oh, there's some more. We're going to be rich. Eliminate two skull. Indeed. We have done it. Jump across. Oh, oh. Could we, could we have gone down here? Oh, cute. Get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more mining done. A little bit more mining done. 
game is so unbelievably pleasant. Do, 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 do. All right. Unbelievably pleasant. But of course, there's, you know, if there's no more content in the game, there's no more reason to uh, to play. There was, even, there was even less than I anticipated left. I, I, I thought there was a... Uh, I thought there was about an hour, uh, is what I was semi-informed, but regardless, I very much am glad to, to be playing the game again. Either way, either way, the boss was cool. The fact that we had two units that had the uh, the life shock ability, I feel like is was really, really effective. And again, like, boy, our... our... Oh, no. All right. <laughs> I love how it takes him a while. You have to get a certain distance away before he starts to uh, to follow you again. <laughs> oh, look at that waterfall. Yeah, it's just like, I can't wait to have more so that I can just look at the environments more. I mean, if there's more, uh, obviously, say OST, I can only imagine there's going to be more zones means more more soundtrack, too, which is great. Everything just oozes style. All right, out we go. Boop, 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 boop. I feel like we're probably heading out to the exit here. If I were to get, oh wait, wait, we hit it. Wait, what? What? What have I done? I've hit a dead end. Wait, oh wait, oh on the bridge, the bridge, the bridge, the bridge, the bridge, the bridge. Okay, gotta head back then. Look at that little butterfly. All right, back we go. I think it was, it was off to the left, right? We had the option to jump off of the bridge. I think, I think, I think. We shouldn't be too far away. Ah, that's right, that's right. There we go, it's gotta be down here then. I feel like we got one more tussle. What, <laughs> this, this, this thing is so funny looking at me. That guy, what's up with you? Hell's up with you? Oh, you know, we gotta... We're probably gonna use a new save file when the game actually comes out, though. But I just like so... You see it, and it just makes such a cute sound effect and everything that I feel like I just want it... I want to do it for them, you know? I know that I'm not gonna be, uh... Probably playing with these guys again, but I will rename my firstborn peep teller. Uh, both in the full series and, of course, in real life. Oh, my God food stuffs i'm kind of like on the hunt trying to get okay so we've unlocked uh this is a key that we've used to unlock a door that we i guess we just we just haven't seen it yet down we go i guess it was down here yep 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 oh he really oh he really wants to give it to me <laughs> oh oh you lucky you lucky guy I feel like, yeah, lo uh, longer encounters, or not encounters, longer expeditions would certainly start to cause problems as well, because the HP, it does stay down, you know? Like, if you lose f that four right there, it does stay down. Like, we would have to actually uh, heal ourselves up with berries or, or what have you. This one is... Oh, my God, the sound on that one this is really what gets me. All right. 10 to 1 says we are uh, going to find the exit in this area right here. Hello. Oh, maybe maybe not. It's a shop. Hello. Again? Yeah, you don't really sell anything good. I was hoping to find some kind of uh, super strong equipment for whatever reason. I thought that maybe we, maybe we would. Boop, boop. Not that we would. Not that we would need it. Not that it would do anything for us. Ah, there we go. So there's the food. Gotcha. Reward. Crude chiseled stick. Copper ore. Wild berries. All right. I wonder I, I wonder if the stuff that you get in the demo does actually transfer into the real game. It, it, it might. It might for all I know. Uh, but yeah, theoretically, we could just keep going, keep going, keep going. I, I bet just grinding up like all of the supplies. You can have like an unbelievable stockpile for when the... Uh, the game hits if the demo stuff does transfer over but this is going to be all we cover here for today uh, as mentioned i it's just consider this just a little two-part series i'll link of course the first episode uh from the let's try back 
in uh, back in a long, long time ago of one week ago. <laughs> I will link that. But I just I couldn't stop thinking about this game. It is it has quickly become uh, one of my, if not my most anticipated roguelike release of uh, whenever the heck it comes out. I think I think 1.0 is is slotted to come out sometime like early 2022. But I think that that doesn't mean there's. I, I don't know if it, I, don't, I guess I don't know if it's 1.0 or if it's the early access release then. I'm not sure, but I've been informed that there is going to be other other opportunities to potentially have me look at it before uh, that time comes. So make sure if this is a game that you are excited about, interested in uh, checking out, figuring out like all the all the good uh, news and information about it, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I will certainly, certainly be covering this. I cannot wait. It is top top of my priority list to cover this game when it comes out. So, thank you for watching. Again, my name is Retromation. I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day. If this is the kind of game you are into, I think I am a worthy subscription. Uh, you'll like, uh, you'll probably like the videos. Your wallet probably won't. <laughs> That's typically how it goes. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. Again, check out the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day. If you want more of this game, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, show that you are also excited for it just as much as I am. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.